Jake here from RetrofitPainting.com. Throughout the centuries, paintings have been a source of visual entertainment for people worldwide, and so have kites. In this activity, you'll have a chance to build your very own kite out of your favorite painting, helping it soar to greater heights. Here's what you'll need. One canvas kite tail from RetrofitPainting.com, a staple gun, your favorite painting, one roll of string, and plenty of wind. First, some may ask, Jake, how can a painting fly? As someone runs with the painting, the four forces of flight that are lift, weight, drag, and thrust affect the painting in the same way that they affect airplanes, doves, various birds, and all flying things. To keep a painting flying, the four forces must be in balance. Lift must be equal to weight, and thrust must be equal to drag. For example, the drag wind directionally facing the surface area of the thrusted painting causes a lift force on it. This lift force perpendicular to the drag wind pushing the weight of the thrusted painting up. At the same time, the drag force pulls the painting's weight back in the direction that the drag wind is going. So are you ready to create a dynamic new use for your home paintings? Let's get started. Step one, remove your painting from the wall. Step two, visit http colon slash slash www.retrofitpainting.com and click on the products tab to purchase one canvas kite tail by Retrofit Painting, now on sale. Step three, after the US Postal Carrier person delivers your mail packaged order, remove the canvas kite tail from the box and attach it to a corner on the back side of the canvas using a staple gun. Square paintings are optimal for flight stability and balance, but a rectangle painting could work too. Don't discriminate. For step four, tie a portion of string to each corner on the back side of the canvas. I drilled a hole in each corner of the wood to help attach the string. The goal is to have the weight of the painting centrally distributed amongst each string so that the painting flies straight. You wouldn't hang a painting on the wall crooked, would you? Now that your painting is fully modified, just add a little wind and you're ready to see your favorite two-dimensional image in the clouds.